और एल एल एम एजेंट्स कैन इंटरेक्ट विद द ब्राउजर जस्ट लाइक ए ह्यूमन डज राइट इफ यू सी नाउ इट इज डूइंग एवरीथिंग ऑन इट्स ओन ओके टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वट वी गोइंग टू डू यू आर गोइंग टू सर्च चीपेस्ट फ्लाइट्स राइट We won't be searching by ourselves. We'll just give a prompt to the to our LLM agent, and it will search the cheapest flight for us. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to explore something interesting. Okay, so if you can see, I've used uh, I've opened one website called browseryuse.com. So what it does is it basically makes website accessible for agents, agents as in our LLM agents. That means Our LLM agents can interact with the browser just like a human does, right? Uh, I mean, it can uh, browse a website, it can uh, explore the page and uh, put text in the in input box, it can click buttons, right? Lot of activities just like a human, normal human being does. It can do those kind of stuff. So that's what we are going to explore this uh, interesting module that we have got. So we'll be using Python definitely, and we'll be using this uh, package browser use. and explore how does it work okay if you see some of the features of uh, this browser use uh, extension is basically uh, vision plus html extraction right the power of this browser use module is it understand the web right understand the structure the html structure of the web page accordingly it can uh, identify individual elements on the page and it can then interact with those elements the elements can be a button then input box a form right a text area uh, a toggle button in any html element So let us just go to the GitHub pack, uh, GitHub page of this uh, uh, package browser use, and if you see, we'll be using inst installing this uh, package using pip install browser use. I've already installed it on in my system, and then this is optional. Uh, you can run this uh, play playwright install command. It will install some dependencies like the uh, Chromium browser. It will install if it is not in the system, because the the agent that will build right, it will internally. uh open the chromium browser okay then do its stuff and to generate some output okay so today in this video what we are going to do we are going to search cheapest flights right we won't be searching uh, by ourselves we'll just give a prompt to the to our llm agent and it will search the cheapest flight for us uh, all by itself it will uh, open the browser and it will put the source source location and destination location it will put the date it will search the flight it will compare the flight prices and give us the cheapest flight on google flights okay and if you have not uh, watched my video on llm agents please uh, click on the i icon to watch that video i have explained in detail what llm agent is and uh, how we can get a task done in an automated manner using llm agents uh, please feel free to check that out first okay now let's just uh, jump jump to the code the code is simple okay uh, we, have, we have already installed this uh, browser is package so from that we are importing the agent okay so in in the agent it takes two parameters one is the task task is nothing but the prompt that we, we want to we want this agent to perform and the llm is the llm model and we are obviously using open ai model for this okay now see the code is simple no doubt okay but the goal of this video is to show you how agent is able to you know achieve this complex task it is able to perform this complex task task you have to understand the steps okay because the thing that will be understanding from here right it will be very useful in your uh, in your journey of de developing llm agents because you'll understand the core if you see here there are in in each, each of the step there are eval step right there is a memory component involved and then uh, actions are involved there right so these are some of the basic framework that is being used right basic uh, template that is being used to make any make an agent uh, perform powerful task and complex task also okay so without further delay let's just run this code first okay if i run this code what you'll see it will first open a headless browser okay in not headless it will open the chromium browser for us it'll just take some time let's see yeah if you see it is automatically opened a browser right and uh, let me just open this side by side so that we can you know see what things i mean the things that are going in the background okay if you see now it is doing everything on its own okay if you see i'll i'll, I'll come to this logs uh, in a while what it is trying to do but if you notice this part just focus on this part what it is trying to do it is first you know 
understanding the structure of the web page if you see it is uh, drawing boundary boxes on the elements that it uh, that are there in the web page it is trying to understand each of this part like what i mean which section represents what then based on that it will decide like which button to click let's say i have asked in the prompt to what if you see the prompt find a one way flight from vijack to bangalore on 12 january 2025 on google flights uh, return return me the cheapest option this is the prompt that i have given so its job is to uh, understand the home page of the google flights page then click on the flights button then uh, put the visa i mean uh, source destination as visakhapatnam and bank uh, your uh, destination your source is visakhapatnam uh, and destination is bangalore and finally if you see it entered all the information in the browser and it it was finally able to generate uh, the cheapest flight for us okay so if you see uh, the it has generated some output the cheapest flight from vijack to bangalore on 12 january 2025 is rupees 10930 okay for a flight with one stop taking approximately 5 hours and 45 minutes now let's just run this uh, code once again i want to show you uh, how it was able to enter the information right the required information of source source uh, station and destination station so automatically it is it is included visakhapatnam as the source station because i had mentioned that in the prompt right and in the where to that means in the 14 you clearly notice this is this is the indexing it is doing every box has a index right every box has a count number associated with it you see see uh index 14 in the um, based on this understanding of this page what it has decided in the index 14 okay in the index 14 this was the 15, uh, 14 earlier see bisapatnam and bangalore it has already put and date date also Uh, January twelve, it has already uh, inputted. Okay, now if you see here, what did it decide in the index fourteen? I mean, the fourteenth box, you input this text as Bangalore. Okay, and in the fifteenth box, I mean, fifteen box, you input the text as twelve January two thousand twenty-five. So based on this, it is doing its thing, and it uh, searched for the uh, for for all the available flights on the page, and it generated the output. Okay, it found some more. Uh, Uh, some more flights for us like the cheapest flight from visakhapatnam to bangalore on 12 january is priced at 8786 anyways uh, see the goal of this video is not to you know book a flight using a agent okay It, the goal of this video is to show you the capabilities that a llm agent can have of interacting with browser then uh, doing things on its own right i mean the scope is enormous it can uh, it can achieve a lot of things in future so this is just the essence of what a agent is capable of if it is uh, used with the browser use uh, package to access the browser and interact with the browser now uh, coming to the uh, uh, core of this uh, problem solving that it that, that it has done right if you see uh, in order to solve this task the ta what was the original task find one way flight from Bang vijack to bangalore on 12 january 2025 on google flights so in order to solve this it uh, dynamically uh, did some steps right in a sequential manner step 1 step 2 step 3 up to how many steps it used around 9 to 10 steps right to generate the final answer okay now if you see in each of the step there are a few things are common i mean the first uh, first task is the eval task the second is the second component is the memory component the third component is the list of actions that it is going to perform next right and then the step two also if you see there is a eval there is a memory there is a list of actions that it, it needs to perform now if you start with the step one what it did eval means it evaluates the previous output of the previous step right if i am currently on step two it will evaluate uh, at what point i am currently on uh, in the step one right i mean step two mein main step one mein kahan pe tha what was the progress till now right and based on that it will it will decide whether to move further to the next step or to correct the current step right let's say it was not able to find the input box for source station so it will then you know uh, retry again to find the input box for the source station then put the visakhapatnam text in it okay so that's the use of this eval step to evaluate its own response generated from the previous step and then decide whether to go to the next step or whether to rectify the current step and uh, reiterate again okay now if you see the second step is a memory section so memory is a very useful 
tool to use with LLM agent because LLM plain LLM agents without memory are not that useful. Okay, because LLM agent LLM agents are just you know plain agents with uh, without any knowledge and memory. So they so they don't remember your previous uh, prompt and and the output of it, right? So every prompt that you give is a new and fresh new prompt for them, uh, fresh new query for them. It doesn't remember the response of the previous query. So that's why memory component is quite useful. And if you see in the step one, it is uh, put it, what it is put in the memory. It is put one sentence called starting a new task because you are starting with the task. Find one way flight from Vijayak to Bangalore on 12 January 2025. Now, best after the eval and memory, uh, memory storage was done. Now it is planning for the next step or the next goal. Ki, yeah. And my, now my next goal is to open Google flights and search for flight from Vijayak to Bangalore on the specified date. So now it uh, divided this goal, right? It, it broke down this goal into multiple actions, right? These are the actions or tool call we can uh, I think of. There are the tool calls that it is doing. First open tab, open a new tab. It will open a, your uh, Chromium browser and it has put the URL, right? Google flights URL it has put here and then uh, it is doing some scroll down so that I mean it will just first see in the home page if it is able to find something or not else it will just scroll down by some amount it will just scroll down on the page then find again whether whether the input boxes are available in the current page yeah so if you see the sections were passed on to a controller right agent decides the actions then pass pass passes it to the controller and controller performs the task for it now in the step two if you see eval right again it is evaluating the previous output of the previous step in current it is written like no previous goal was set and the current state is about the flight search page with no interactive element present that means in this in the current step it has opened the google flights page no doubt okay but still it is now uh, trying to find out the input elements right the input elements for the source station and the uh, uh, input element for the destination station and the dead uh, dead picker obviously it is trying to find those html elements in the page so that it can you know, input the text of Visakhapatnam, Bangalore and uh, the date of 12 January 2025. Now, it, if you see the next interesting thing, it has updated the memory because it, the memory gets updated with the current progress, right? Like it's a, it's a checkpoint kind of thing, right? Uh, like open uh, the memory, what it has written into the memory, open Google Flights, scroll down the page and ready to input flight details, okay? So, it is updating the memory with this uh, uh, details about the current step then based on that it is you know dividing the it is doing the next goal right the first goal is to input vijag in the source station if you see it is written input vijag in the where from field and uh, bangalore in the where to field okay then set the departure date so these three things it is trying to do and it is divided that into four actions input text text is visa partner index is 13 index i showed you already uh, it, it divides the entire page into boxes right and it to each box it uh, assigns some number okay based on that it decides ki which one is the in source station then uh, in that uh, 13 index box i will just put the visapatnam text in the 14 index box i will just put the bangalore okay this kind of things it is uh, able to decide and do the task okay so i am not going to you know explain each of this step because my uh, intention of this video was to make you understand about this flow okay like how uh, a combination of evaluation evaluation step memory component and the action or the tool calls okay uh, i mean goal determination and dividing into into multiple actions and doing that uh, corresponding tool calls is capable of solving any kind of complex problem okay this is just the beginning of, of what a agent is capable of there is a long way to go but this is the core essence and i i hope this will this brief idea of eval memory and uh, goal generation and action generation and tool calls workflow i mean uh, it, it will help you in uh, designing creating solutions for a lot of problems using llm measures okay so if you see in each of the step it is doing the eval memory and the excel step so i'll uh, attach this uh, notebook in the description section you can uh, uh, if you can explore this and you know you can actually understand you can go through the each step right and see how it is reflecting from the previous step right i mean in each step if you will see it will it is reflecting from the output of the previous step so each step is dependent on the previous step basically yeah that that was about today's video where we understood uh, how llm agents are capable of you know interacting with web browsers okay so yeah one more interesting thing that i missed is if you see here if i just write something else let's say 
is my trip dot com. It will accordingly open the is my trip website for it for us. Okay. See if you see it will open. I hope is my trip website. Yeah, it is opened. Then based on accordingly in the same manner, it will try to you know understand the structure of the web page, and accordingly it will input the uh, source station and destination station and try to search the flights for us. Okay. Index number twenty three input YZ because this was the twenty three index. In in uh, twenty eight Bangalore because this was the twenty eight uh, in uh, box right twenty eight index box. So it will run uh, and it will search flights for us. Yeah. Anyways, I hope I, you found this video very interesting and you learned something new about the capability of LLM agents. So if you have any doubts about this about whatever we discuss in this video, drop them in the comment section. I'll be sure to answer. So if you like this video, definitely subscribe to my channel. And we are targeting to reach 2200 subscribers, I guess, uh, by the end of this uh, month. So keep supporting. Thank you for watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.